Hi, in this third video of my series Flight Zoomer version 3 preview, the next unique innovation is presented, the integration of the surface dial controller. For the first time you can control the flight of your aircraft in all axes with a simple controller. Pushing to select modes and rotating to select values, this must be the easiest and most efficient man-machine interface for precise flight maneuvers. With a single controller all these autopilot modes can be controlled. During the presentation, the small video inlay that normally shows the FPV video stream, is placed here. It shows how the dial is manipulated while maneuvering. Operating the dial is so simple, that it can be explained with a few words, first, turning the controller changes the target value that is marked with the magenta flag. Second, clicking the dial iterates through the four most basic modes for target value manipulation. Alternatively the dial can be pressed long, which opens the radial controller menu. Here one of the following modes can be selected for target value manipulation, speed, track over ground, heading, turn rate, vertical speed, flight path angle or altitude. So let's see how this works in practice. First let's arm an altitude. As the target value is dialed in, the selected altitude bug is moving on the altitude scale. Likewise the altitude target line moves on the vertical situation display. The click sound simulates detents whenever the value changes. The vertical situation display perfectly supports us to choose a safe altitude to cross the mountain pass ahead. After that the vertical speed is selected. As we want the copter to climb with a constant climb angle, regardless of the forward speed, we have to change to the flight path angle mode. We set an initial climb angle of 20 degrees. As long as we have not yet set a positive forward speed, the climb will not begin. Therefore let's click two times on the dial, to activate the speed mode for target value modification. By setting a rather fast forward speed of 50 km per hour, the resulting vertical speed is also quite high, as we can see as we follow the terrain up to the culmination point. If needed you can adjust the climb angle in order to maintain enough ground clearance. The vertical situation display again nicely helps to keep situational awareness. As we are climbing, you can see on the navigation display how the terrain around us turns slowly from red to yellow and green. We now see the armed altitude coming closer. Smoothly level flight at the exact target altitude is established. After switching to the track over ground mode, we can adjust the course a bit in order to precisely turn towards the Wheatsnagwar stock. Two and a half minutes later we have reached the Wheatsnagwar stock. Using the dial, we turn to the east to follow the south face of the mountain. Way down below at the sea Shorgersaw has appeared on the scene. Meanwhile we have changed the scenery. Flying between old industry and new office buildings you can see, how the aircraft can be flown precisely around sharp corners and through narrow street canyons. The turn rate has been increased to 30 degrees per second in order to get a more immediate turn response. For a moment let's focus on the new engine indications here. On the left the power setting per motor is displayed. On the right there are three charts showing the current values as well as the time progression of the battery voltage, the current and the capacity. The latter is particularly interesting, as it shows the remaining time to the reserve capacity of 700 mAh at the current discharging rate. We now have about six and a half minutes remaining flight time. 